Right now, some growing concerns about China's role in the Mideast oil markets that really affect all of us. American forces did most of the fighting and the dying to liberate Iraq, to get rid of Saddam. And one of the side effects of this is oil production in Iraq is up and running again. Well, now China is reportedly Iraq's biggest customer, buying nearly half the oil that Iraq produces. And Beijing has its sights uh, set on even more. Stephen Yates is the former deputy assistant to Vice President Cheney for National Security Affairs during the Iraq War and now the CEO of D.C. International Advisory. So, Stephen, you know, China, what we would talk about, Iraq wouldn't even be a factor over the last decade. What do you make of these moves to get really into Iraq's oil market? Well, there are a couple of forces that can explain why China would be a big player at this point. One is we found a lot of reserves of our own, and so we seem to be less motivated to capture some of these sources for our own purposes. Uh, and China is a big, big oil importer, and buying a lot from Middle East sources in Iraq is one of those available to it. If it were market decisions only, with sort of normal, normative market actions, uh, it wouldn't be a much of a concern. But China state-owned enterprises don't operate the same way our companies would. Let's talk a little bit about that, because some in this article written by the New York Times suggest that this is purely about demand in China's market. There are a growing economy, a growing population. They need to find oil sources, so they turn to some place like Iraq. It's really not about geopolitics. What do you think about that? Well, there are geopolitical consequences to it, regardless of what China's motives may be. For instance, when a Chinese company comes in, they tend to have lower wages that they pay. They have privileged access to capital because of subsidies from their government, and they're undercutting under competitors who might be better players in global markets. They also don't necessarily provide the infrastructure and economic benefit to the Iraqis. We sacrificed a great deal to give the Iraqis a shot going forward at being able to govern themselves and distribute some of this wealth. If the Chinese are coming in, bringing their labor and taking the profits away, it really inhibits the potential growth of Iraq's own economy. And what does that mean for for us when we look at Iraq, but also when we look at the broader Middle East. For example, China is one of the biggest customers for Iran to get around the sanctions that we put in place so that they stop developing their nuclear program. Absolutely right. Uh, Iraq is an important player in this arc of what I see as Shia instability that goes across Iraq into Syria and to Hezbollah. Uh, the, the, the balancing of their interests in getting oil from Iraq shields them somewhat from the risk of sanctions in Iran, but they've never been a good player in pressuring any of these governments to be on the right side of the rules and norms that we support. So in some ways they're validating certain regimes that, that we do not want to have in power. That's right, and they're given and by the economic development. There's more resources to spread around among the groups that are on the wrong side of these conflicts and instability in the broader region. Stephen Yates, always nice to have you on the program. Thank you. Thank you, Donna. You're something of a dare.